Hello there, Gemini. Let's find out what your oracle messages are. Okay, wow. You know what, Gemini? Pat yourself on the back. Okay, because there is this new phase. There is a renewed sense of self, circumstance, situation. I mean, whatever it is here, we got transformation, we've got growth, we got the phoenix here. You know, there may have been a changed mind. Um, and I'm seeing this with you. Okay. So some of you, you might get clear about what it is you really want to chase after. And I am seeing something that has transformed due to a changed mind or a mind that is currently changing to let go of anything that's unhealthy, especially in the regards of relationships or maybe a goal or dreams that we just don't know how it's going to happen. And we might be, you know, working harder than need be. So just relax. And again, you know, pat yourself on the back because I want to show you where you're going. It's like, to me, it's so cute because I'm seeing like a, a running start here with this card here. And then all of a sudden we have takeoff. Okay. So yes, you're transcending and ascending or excuse me, ascending, uh, I was looking at that word, transcending obstacles, learning, what else does that say? Expansion, new phase, and preparing for union. Ooh, some of you, you could be, yeah, preparing for some type of important union that you're meant to come into here. Okay, what else for Gemini? Look at that. Look at this, the fool's card. This really, you know, to me, looks like it goes along with this ascending because, you know, you could be light free. Some of you, you may be choosing to not commit to anything or anyone at this time to allow your soul some type of freedom here. Now, it doesn't mean, you know, that you give up on important duties, obligations, or relationships, but, you know, there is something going on though that we're not we're not chasing after. We are and maybe you found yourself doing that. You know, we all chase after something here, but you know, something about coming to one's senses or realizing that it doesn't need to be as hard here and that you do have a choice that some type of, you know, fresh new hope is on the horizon if it hasn't already here. And again, we are, you know, taking flight feeling light, feeling joyful, preparing for some type of significant meeting, union, and unifying with, with who and what it is that matches some type of new vibration that you're holding within your own self, your own soul. Because look at this. To me, this is really resonating like the, um, like a resurrection situation here. We've gone through, we've, we've been burned or we've gone through the ashes, but we, we allowed it to transform and transcend anything or anyone that could be an obstacle. The path is clear though here. Hmm. Aries is coming in with the fool's card. So stay hopeful too, because it's really signifying a new phase big time with the um, Phoenix and the Fool's card here. Why is this coming out a little bit hard? <laughs> What's funny is we could be hard in here or there may be an obstacle um, with allowing yourself some type of freedom um, and authority and leadership here, right? Someone that's sovereign onto themselves here, um, father of air is actually you, <laughs> you're right in your element. Okay. Now, yes, you could also be dealing with or, um, have dealt with, or soon will deal with someone that may have air placements in their chart. They could be a man or woman, but they would be of someone that has some type of strong authoritative position or someone who's really, um, maybe mentally focused or strong here. But most importantly, here you are right in your place having some type of conclusion because we've heard everything that we need to hear or gain all the information one needs to gain to have like a conclusion or sound decision. 
or to just remain objective, especially if something or someone, you know, may tempt you to get over emotional at about something or, you know, whatever it is. But I do see clarity here with this father of air. And also if you're talking about, you know, some type of new phase, um, yes, there could be something going on for some of you Gemini's with a rekindle of a current relationship here, but you could be, you know, preparing for some type of union here. Maybe it's friendship, maybe it's love, maybe it's business, maybe it's spiritual, whatever it is, allow this energy to enter. But most importantly, I want you to notice the word leadership. And I feel this is exactly what the fool is doing too, because the fool is not waiting for anything or anyone. Remember freedom here. Hmm. You could be, um, you know, having something very spontaneous uh, happen as well. And you may need to hop on to an opportunity, an idea, or maybe, you know, go with something when, when someone presents, um, you know, an opportunity here. We have uh, Gemini and, well, your sign, Aquarius and Libra showing up. What else for Gemini? Gemini, this is just like the Phoenix. My goodness. We we're just talking about resurrection here. Hearing a call, maybe a calling for some type of great leadership or, you know, to be strong mentally here. But also, you know, trusting in yourself. We are hearing some type of calling, something that is really resonating with your soul, waking up to something new, new and hopeful wise decisions here as well. Past mistakes, if you feel that you've gone through them, no longer hinder progress here, no longer have a place in this new area that you're in with your life here. You may need to take a risk here on, on a, um, for some of you, if you're, you may even be feeling a strong, like, um, life calling here powerful purpose or a powerful purpose for this moment in time. Who knows for how long gravitate towards this. I mean, look at this ascending. This is new life. This is, you know, reconciling what we need to reconcile within ourselves, situation, the past. Hmm. Be proud of yourself. Now, there may be something where we could uh, be gaining information or needing to study, okay? So take time here to really look at your skills, study if you need to, because there may be this thing where some of you, you might be having to take a test here <laughs> or feel tested. What else for Gemini? It's a wake up call here. There's for sure something here that's going on. The hangman, you know, we're hearing something very clear. Maybe there's something that's even awakening, you know, your soul, shaking your soul in a good and a positive way. Let's get more about this hangman. Your renewal. Your transform. Oh, whoops, that just fell on the ground. I'll get it at some point. Let's get more with this hangman. You know, for some of you, you've already done this where you've stopped like going after something too hardcore. Okay. And you've surrender, you know, the need to, you know, do too much here and just kind of go with the flow. Okay, we are, you know, engaging with some type of memories. We could be um, in a place too where we could have some type. Of, yeah, there is something strong about something rekindling here. Wow. Hmm. The inner child is definitely at play with you and most likely another soul or souls too, Gemini. So I would just allow your inner child uh, to kind of shine through. But, you know, there is something that we could be hung up about here, you know, we may be in a place of suspense or disbelief about what has gone on. 
What more with the energy of the Six of Cups, please, for Gemini? We have water sign coming through. Let me get a little bit more with the Six of Cups. Because the past could definitely, you know, be showing up here. Hmm. Oh, whoa, okay. This is where we were in that disbelief. We got stabbed in the back here. Heartbreak, pain, separation, decep deception, shocking attack here. My God, right? Wow. So there may be something with, you know, uh, staying focused on what you can focus on because, you know, the past is definitely playing uh, or replaying here. But you need to trust that something new is being birthed and grown from this situation here. Wow. And it's definitely someone that you, you felt a very close connection with. Okay. What else for Gemini? Mm, temperance. So Gemini, there's something going on too with you finalizing things, uh, not needing or uh, having to push too hard. Because again, you are surrendering here. The what ifs, the how. Hmm. We are, and we've we've entered something here, though. We may need to use moderation here because I do see we're going, we're, we're swinging from the past and into the future. Let's get more with temperance. Uh, Sagittarius is showing up with the temperance. What's important for uh, Gemini to know about the temperance here? An opportunity is going to be available here. Now, some of you, what's happening is we've got an opportunity for some type of, you know, wish fulfillment or something satisfying, especially when it comes to getting out of a very hard and cold time. You know, that father of air, um, he was coming out a little challenging and I do feel that there was something that was icy cold here. Maybe someone's attitude, maybe we, you know, maybe one, oneself had to embody that attitude because we do have, you know, what seems to me be like the 10 of swords with that stabbed in the back. I would say slow down though, too. You know, we got this thing about chasing after, and I want you to see this chariot. So the temperance is signifying a time where um, notice the things you have right now, okay? Even look at the fool's card. The fool's card, we're not, we, we, we're in a place of, you know, oh, okay, this is it. It's like right before. It's the moment before you jump into a new phase. And it's a very clear and pure stage to be in. But even in that fool's card, there's a moment here. And there is going to be a moment in time here, right? That you can replace, if you want, a harsh and bad memory. Not to say that we're going to ignore something, but, you know, you, you really are above or moving and transforming something that was very painful, shocking, into something good here. And we're not going to be held down here. So, you know, the chaser and the chariot, look, we're like really going fast here. <laughs> but we may need to take a moment to really appreciate all that's really going on and all the abundance that you do have. And it can be hard at times, especially if we're trying to rush something. But rushing something could cause, you know, one to feel even more isolated or alone or perhaps a mistake here that we don't want to have to undo. But some type of healing or rescue, or, uh, you know, this is like some type of support here. So there is, you know, I would say to take this if it resonates, because it won't for all of you, because not all of you have children or have something going on about supports or something about financial support. But I do see some type of favor here with getting that or having that finalized or having it be fair in some way, shape or form. 
the opportunity, the opportunity that you're seeking will be at the right moment at the right time. Something may be, you know, happening here where we just have to hang in there for a moment because, you know, what's important is whatever it has left here, whatever has been a shocking pain, it's like being emptied out of you. And what's being filled is some type of new calling, new purpose, a new lease on life that gives you a new meaning to life or a deeper meaning to life. You're going to be getting out of something too, Gemini. You got to trust this, especially when, you know, we're just like, we've been in the cold here. We've been shocked by something here for sure. We got uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio coming through, Cancer and Sagittarius coming through. What else for Gemini? It's like you you have everything you need right now, okay? So there's there's something in front of you here. Okay, we got the five of wands, king of pentacles. We may need to back off something or someone that could be greedy here too. I would just say, you know, there is some there is something going on with, you know, f mm, some type of rivalry or competitive fighting drama here. Hmm. I want more with this five of wands. There's a nine of swords. Give me something. Okay. Okay. Something about the past. We might be hung up about argument, uh, arguments, conflicts. It's all, something might be wreaking havoc in the mind. You've got to take it easy here. Okay. This has to do with relationships. This has to do with love. This could have to do with, you know, finding the one, right? Or some of you, you know, <laughs> moving on from someone, I, you know, for some of you, if you're already with someone, you got to give something some space and time. Something is transforming. Some, something new will synchronize here. But you just got to focus on love. I know it can be a little hard, maybe even, you know, sounds cheesy at time, at times, but it really does work here. Um, because it's sucking a lot of your energy here. These swords are in the shape of like um, uh, bat, bat wings or something. It's like what I'm seeing. But anyhow, yeah, we could definitely be hung up here about the right one or what's going to be stable. Some of you, there is, there is some kind of com real complicated thing going on here. Let's get a little bit more. I feel that you have some type of sacred space here to, or you need to go to your sacred space and not deal with drama kings or queens. Let's get more about this. I know that there's something that's like echoing here. So a lot of you have this high sensitivity and so something could be replaying and it's like it's echoing and it, you know, it's, it just feels like it's hard to get out of here. Some of you, you, you do need, you, you have gone out of this, right? It's been maybe even tormenting in a way. Oh, good. Sudden change. Chalking, shocking. Why I say chalking? Chalking. Maybe someone's like chalking something up here. <laughs> well, sudden change. Shocking news. Surprise. Epiphany. Upheaval. Transformation. So, some type of sudden change is going to happen. It's like at any moment here. Most likely some type of epiphany some type of um, person here is at play as well with the king of pentacles. It's, you know, for a lot of you, all of a sudden, what comes into focus is the right, the right uh, situation, the right person, the right one. Lightning. Let me see. Let me see what was behind that Lightning. Oh, so you're going to be meeting someone. Ooh, it's a date. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Okay. 
meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plan or set a date. Some of you may need to do that. You may need to plan a date for yourself to have fun, okay? Or maybe there's something about, you know, rekindling a, your, you know, obviously this is going to be for ones that are already involved in a, you know, a committed relationship right now, not one that's like ended or dramatic or term, you know, done. Anyhow, you could find a resurgence of, you know, some type of romance here. But don't be afraid to plan and set a play date. Maybe with you, a friend, or friends here, or a family member, because it is about enjoying yourself once again, because I know something was not enjoyable here at all, and it may take effort, you know, it may take effort, but there is something about a date as well, not, you know what I'm getting? It's not the date, like, yes, you know, romance, or dating, or having fun, going out, whatever, but a certain date. Hmm. There may be something about a certain date. You know, time and place, month, calendar. <laughs> All right, what else? Risk it all. Wow, the fool's card here. You're going to have, okay, so a lot of you, you may already have all the information on what you need here. <clears throat> Some of you, just hang on, just hang on. It should be feeling a lot lighter for you. That's how you know when you start to get more clarity, okay? The feelings won't be so, you know, uh, feeling heavy or obscuring, uh, or, or obscuring uh, a perspective. Because we have the root of fire here. This is the ace of wands. There's something in someone you're going to want to go after. And it, it will feel like you're risking it all, but it's going to be really exciting and passionate because something magical and mystical is going on here with this root of, oh, no, no, it's not the ace of wands, but it is a page of wands. There's something new and exciting here. So you might find, you know, some type of information or news communication that comes in that you can say yes to. Say yes. This is fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oh, there you are, queen of swords. You're going to be meeting someone here. <laughs> there, there's an important meetup. And here you are, whether you're male or female, queen of swords, you know, you're indulging with something that is just, it, it really resonates with your soul. See, this is, this is, here you are. And look at this, the counterpart to the father of air, because the father of air is the king of swords. <laughs> Here's a match. Something is matching here though, in your life that, you know, you can nurture, especially when it comes to communication uh, things that are I intellectually stimulating, fair. Oh, and here you are. Re you resurrected yourself in a more profound and powerful way. You pulled the sword out of your back or out of your heart, and now you wear it as part of your costume <laughs> or your outfit here because it does match. And it just signifies what a, you know, I just feel like saying this. I feel like saying this. Just what a badass you really are, Gemini. <laughs> so there's an important meeting here with someone. That's all that I can say. There's an important meeting here with someone. Okay, I feel like there's another energy that wants to come out with this Queen of Swords. Let's see what comes out. You too, Gemini, may need to, if you don't have them now, you know, because I know we've had a, a lot of shake up here or something's happening and we got to get used to like, uh, you know, a new energy, but have boundaries in place here. Okay. Have ba your boundaries in place. That way we don't have blurry boundaries. And I'm not, I'm not saying you need to be cold, you know, hopefully you don't think it up that way, but because you, you do have this experience here, um, so just, yeah, have your boundaries in place because I do sense it's either you or someone that you are connected to in some way, shape or form right now or in the future um, that really, um, really needs their own sacred time. Like they need, 
They need a place that they can devote just for themselves so they can decompress. And it's just important that they do it in a solo way, not in the way, you know, that's like, oh, I don't need you. It's a way so that they come back clear headed, full, um, invigorated. The moon. Okay. What, what was I even asking? Oh my God. I don't even know now. Oh my gosh. Jim and I was just getting off track a little bit. Was I asking something about the queen? Oh no. Okay. Let's see. We got the moon card though. Okay. Yeah. You know what? Also with the queen of swords, what she's doing is, um, she is remaining, um, strong here or detached from overly negative emotions or, you know, maybe emotions that just are a little bit weird here with the moon card, but you know, some secrets may even come out or <laughs> I don't know. It's almost like the, the queen of swords can see BS though. Um, but I do feel there's something being lit up here. A way for you to go. There is definitely a way this journey, uh, you know, so, something's happening here with the meetup. Um, and I will say that there seems to be something important about rekindling, you know, your trust in another here in being authentic and genuine. Cause I know you went through something that was hard. That wasn't coming from a place of being genuine. Um, but just keep on going here. The moon is only lighting up so much. Just don't let, you know, a crazy imagination or fear override what's most important. It's what's most important is you're listening to an aspect of yourself that cannot be denied here. And yes, heaven is calling you. Heaven is waking something up within yourself here too, to be strong to have uh, the clarity or the truth you need. What else? Queen of Wands. We got something more about this sense of resurrection this fire element at play here, being bold and confident, feeling free to express yourself too. So there may be a person here that shows up that really fuels or gives you, you know, maybe the gas or the fuel that you need, right? Now you could also be doing this and entering this, uh, this place here as well, where you just exude a lot of passion, creativity, um, charisma, it's a very warm and attractive energy as well with this queen of wands. Now, I just wanted to bring something up. I, I don't know. Some of you, you won't resonate with this, but some of you guys might have felt like something happened here. You know, you might have felt like you've caused something bad on your own self from some type of bad judgment here. You got to quit being so hard on yourself. You know, I'm seeing um, one of those rebel deck cards come into my mind's eye right now. It's like guilt regret, shame. Those are all BS. <laughs> really it is. So be open to someone too. Um, now also I see you are at this place of accomplish me, accomplishing or being at a, at a place where you know you can nurture inspiration, passion, creativity, here, you know, some type of risk is going to pay off as well with the queen of wands here, but we may need to watch out, um, from trying to over control something or may possibly, possibly, <laughs> you know, getting too overconfident at, you know, a certain time here where, you know, unless you have all the facts and, and I'm not saying not to believe in, in something here, but I think a lot of you may have gone through something here where, maybe a uh, overconfidence or maybe we overshot something here, uh, backfired on us. Right. But the queen of wands has risen again. And when I see the queen of wands, I see you as being talented and gifted here. <laughs> okay. What else? 
four of pentacles. We may need to control something too when it comes to our spending. You may need to set up you know, a financial budget for those of you that feel that maybe, you know, you could be doing better with yeah, saving and spending. But we are also in a place where we can save. So be happy about that. You know, something is happening here where we are using great discernment because here you are, Queen of Swords. She knows great discernment utilizing her energy, her skills, her resources wisely or reserving it for a later use. Let's get more about this uh, Four of Pentacles for Gemini. Yeah, some of you Gemini's got this old soulmate at play here. And you you know you're really just over it and done with some, someone here. Okay. Yeah, we may need to back off of overdoing it too much. Now we've got the king of wands here. Stay focused on the long term here. Okay, so invest wisely. Right now you're investing for the long term. This is just the guidance right now. Pay attention to your dreams, but, you know, we need to do something now. Even if it's just a little bit, that's the key. Even if it's a little bit because... Just by doing that little bit, you're also infusing it with intention. When intention is, um, um, you know, at play here, other things start manifesting. You start attracting more of these good things. But I would say temptation could be at play with the seven of cups. We could be overindulging, overspending, or letting, you know, material things or other things distract us. And we may need to just be wise here. Because you are attaining or meant to attain some type of position and some type of goal. Don't get too caught up in the details, right? Because some, sometimes we get confused if we get too caught up in all the small details. <laughs> Just stay consistent on something here. Okay, what else? You know, the other thing that I'm seeing too... Some of you guys might be turning, I don't know, wow, you guys, some of you may have a shop there, or something like um, antiquing or selling some of your things for a profit that maybe, you, you know, that it's just collecting dust and you're ready to get rid of the old and invite the new. And it's like cha-ching, cha-ching. <laughs> hey, if it helps you further your goals, then hey. Now, I would be careful of someone, though, too, that, you know, you already know here. They could, they could be deceptive here as well. Very, they, they can just be very greedy with their emotions. It could be just all one-sided here. Oh, look at that. There, oh, my God. There's that Ten of Swords. Woo! We're done. Yeah, we're finalizing something up, aren't we? Ah, take a bow. I mean, you know what I see? I see you turning those damn swords into some balloons here because I see you being the magician right now. And look at that, transcending obstacles, a new phase. Ah, I'm preparing for a union. Oh, boy. We got some powerful energies at play, don't we? Here's that ending here. And here's your new beginning. Page of Wands is coming out a couple of times here. So be willing. That's the only thing. If you're not, just the secret, you know, uh, is to be willing to open yourself up to something or somewhat new here. Um, but I would say, Ge Gemini, you are going to receive some type of good news. It might just be the news that can help you um, feel unstuck or get things moving if you do feel something stagnant is happening here. Um, something about a job well done too. Some of you guys might get that recognition or merit or reward for merit or something or you know recognition for your hard work or something like that. What else for Gemini? And we definitely have a very, very playful energy at play too. So a childlike energy is... is very prominent here. We've got the six 
of cups. We got a couple of the pa pages. We got that fool's card. I'm missing this child here. So you may um, fulfill a childhood dream here. Oh, I love this. Hmm. You know, the higher font, higher font is here, giving you a lot of comfort, believing, you know, uh, you know, in everyday life, having your own faith be a part of your everyday life by taking a little time out, right? And, and quite possibly too, Gemini, not feeling like you have to figure everything out either because a, a path or guidance will be given to you if you're open to this. You know that saying, um, what's that saying? You know, when the student is ready, the teacher arrives, arrives, and vice versa. You could be arriving for someone too or some students. Now, look at the children again. See, look, I'm telling you. And it's like something scholarly here, right? So we've entered sacred learning. Think of it that way. Be grateful for that. There's more going on that meets the eye when we are connected to a very divine source. And that's exactly what you're connected to. What else? Oh, the star card. You know, you need to know and be guaranteed here that your future is bright. And I am hearing something. Um, something is warranted here for you. Okay, I, I feel like I need to say this, so take it if it resonates. Uh, I'm hearing something like, don't seek justice. Justice, it's, it's like, don't seek justice. Justice will seek itself or so, something like that. You know, what goes around comes around, okay? <laughs> All you got to do is just hold your light. Don't let anything or anyone distract your beautiful energy that's going on here with the star card. And also we do have a very prominent energy or person or maybe a guardian angel. It's going to wake you up in a way where you, you know for a fact you've never been left alone. You know, heaven is holding you like this child is being held by this person here or adult. Because sometimes we just need that little assistance. And that's exactly what you're getting. So just entertain yourself with good energy, positive energy as much as possible. Good thoughts. You got a strong wish fulfillment at play here because something has aligned right. Some type of universal alignment here. I mean, look at this. Some of you guys, you know, <laughs> I don't know why. There may be something with chiropractor or, you know, having your, uh, you know, maybe back. You know, some of you guys, there could be something here with getting alignment, uh, getting um, adjusted or having, you know, um, I don't know, something like just aligned, right? But if you, if besides that, look at the hangman, you know, the, it, it, and it's also, if you look at the legs there, number four, four of pentacles. Heaven is sending you synchronicities and quite possibly number synchronicities uh, sacred symbols that have meaning for you. So pay attention. <laughs> it's showing you more and more that you're on the right path here. What else? Oh, nope. That's it. Okay. So before we end the, uh, end the reading, I want to find out, um, what is a positive that is nearing or a positive outcome that is nearing for you? Okay, other souls are definitely at play. So just have patience too, okay? You've entered a sacred territory. Just know that, right? I, again, I was saying pat yourself on the back because here you are, you've entered or you've been in this sacred territory. 
wedding rings, <laughs> preparing for union. That was like the, one of the very first cards, wasn't it? So union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Strong and stable with the, the higher font, the four of pentacles, the uh, king of pentacles, some, something and someone promising. Yes, you could find yourself getting engaged, married, but you're marrying into a situation or something promising here that who knows could be everlasting for you. Ooh. <sighs> yeah. Something real sweet is about to occur here. So something you may also receive a special gift. Um, maybe a precious, um, item here, <laughs> you know, because sometimes what happens, how the universe plays out is like, you get rid of the old and the new enters. <laughs> All right. I hope that this was helpful. Gemini love and light.